Hey, this is the online reading of the 2020 European Poetry Festival. I'm Peter Zavada from Budapest, Hungary, and I'm going to read you my poem entitled Porta Cabins. The routine of porta cabins, metal fences, has dissolved into the disinfectant white of waiting rooms, contoured reception desks, hospital green sofas. What before filled me with satisfaction has now birthed a siege of discomforts, and habit has been replaced by a sort of determined stubbornness, though as plans go I would hardly call it daring. It was clear. If I carelessly give way to what by its very nature crops up as temptation, then a single rash decision can bring with it a whole caravan of consequences. In the interests of the goal, only a resilient background could ensure the ideal circumstances. I was hard-headed, at long last determined. I knew that if I grabbed the door handle, like the butt of a pistol, and pushed down, the room would explode into the darkness. I step out and immediately start gaining mass, drawn towards the geometric center of the forest. Memorable cracks radiating out, branch still, the nakedness of noise. Only I can be the hero of my poem, and this upside-down glass on the chipboard table furrowed alienness. Or the layer of dust on the tomato, the brownish, overripe spots of the peach as they spread out in rings like salt marks, the bright green burgeoning mold. Caring is what I do every day, and that has nothing to do with exhaustion. But the wood still remains stubborn, even as it readies to my hand. Through the spade, I see the ore, the cathedral, the quarry, and there's a wound on the site of all creation. I'm full up with the city. I long to be back in a purer surfeit, where the wood is a kindly wastefulness, and rambling is time frittered without guilt. But instead, an end of summer feast, an orchids, a starry carpet of fluorescent plankton on the front of the laser wrapped basilica, and product samples in magazines, smart carbon alloys. But what is most convincing in its purposiveness are the geraniums and gentian, as history like a baroque allegory sprouting out of the ruins. The slow decay of the cops is a chance that I pass up, but it isn't only mine. What I mark out in space, a swollen knot, my associations accrete. The heart of memory suddenly collapses, the valley coils up around me. Look, the marshaled markers of spring, the obedient expanding circles of the wind in the middle, a smaller central part surrounded by flowers. Their smoothness stretched tight upon them, their roughness pricking stubbornly out. The communicating vessels of the stalks, the truth of the petals taking the place of the bud now.